It was a heavy metal truck fest with a difference, as Camp Bastion hosted an international gathering of military recovery know-how. The idea was for each nation to see hands-on the other's techniques to rescue stranded vehicles, so they could help swiftly in any combat emergency. Imagine you're driving abroad and break down and the vehicle recovery mechanic doesn't understand you or your car. Then imagine that when you're dealing with trucks weighing 20 to 30 tonnes in the middle of a battlefield and you get a sense of the problem they're preparing for here. The US Marine Corps M88, one of the world's largest recovery vehicles designed for Vietnam, showed none of its age, making a 13-tonne takeaway of an armoured car minus two of its wheels. Then the British dropped in with their battle zone breakdown service. From the RAF Chinook's ramp raced the all-terrain springer of Remy craftsman Dan Pearson and Ben Dukes. Using a cutting torch to clear debris and then hand winches, it took them less than 15 minutes to right this jackal. Well, the idea is to showcase uh, different nationalities' recovery capabilities uh, in theatre. So if we uh, require the assistance of, say, the Danes, the US Army or the US Marines, we can simply um, call them up. We know um, that we can work together and using different vehicles and um, recover the vehicles successfully. The Afghan National Army demonstrated their growing confidence to carry the weight of this campaign, along with nearer allies. That's how they say what seems to be the problem in Copenhagen, and the Danes took the strain, along with US Navy engineers, of extracting an Estonian fighting vehicle. On reflection, the event was more than just going through the motions. With military costs squeezed, stricken vehicles saved, not destroyed, may go a few inches towards hauling defence spending out of the hole it's in. Jeff Mead, Forces News, Camp Bastion.